Welcome to the 2GIG GO Bridge technical training. The 2GIG GO Bridge IP communicator is a broadband connection device that connects to multiple interactive service providers. In this course, we're going to check out what the communicator looks like and what you'll need to operate the GO Bridge properly. The GO Bridge features, installation how to, and troubleshooting. Let's get started. On the front side of the communicator, you will see a, the network LED, B, the 900 megahertz LED, and C, the learn button. On the back of the communicator, you will see A, a recessed reset button, B, the ethernet port, and C, the power supply port. To use the GoBridge IP communicator, you must have a Go control panel. You must also be running firmware version 1.12 or higher. Make sure that you have the 2 gig XCVR transceiver and an internet connection. The GoBridge communicates with the 2 gig panel using the 900 megahertz transceiver module 2 gig XCVR. It also directly connects to the customer's network using an ethernet cable. The bridge enables devices to send alarms faster and it also enables mobile devices to send commands faster. For compliance with UL 1023, the GoBridge must be installed in the same room as the internet modem or router. To install the GoBridge properly, first plug in the Ethernet cable, then plug in the power. Verify that LEDs A and B are both illuminated red on the bridge before moving on. On your Go control panel, navigate to the system configuration screen and tap Go to. When you reach the enter question number two digits screen, enter 92. At Q92, select the network device 0 to 1. Tap the arrow pointing right to scroll to 1, GoBridge IP communicator. Then tap the downward pointing arrow. On the GoBridge IP communicator, press and release the learn button. This is a small black plastic button on the LED side of the GoBridge IP communicator below the 900 megahertz LED. This transmits the device ID to the control panel. When the Learn Operation Succeeded message appears and the panel displays the type, which would be the GoBridge IP communicator and the ID number, the GoBridge IP communicator and the panel are linked. The 900 MHz LED on the GoBridge IP communicator also will flash green. At the pair with the XCVR device screen, tap OK. Then tap the downward pointing arrow to continue with configuring the GoBridge IP communicator settings below. Please refer to your service provider to determine what information you should use for these settings. Select the service provider's server port by using the left or right arrows or enter it in directly using the numeric touchscreen keypad. Then press the down arrow and enable or disable port forwarding. Disabled is used for most installations. If enabling port forwarding, enter the port value and then press the down button. Then enter the IP address. You can enter up to eight port forwarded entries. At the summary of network device, press the down arrow and then press skip. For Q93, enter broadband network failure time. Enter the desired number of minutes that must pass before a network failure triggers the control panel to issue a trouble alert. The default value is 30 minutes. Then tap the downward facing arrow. For the Q94, select the Broadband Network Failure Report 0 or 1. Tap the right arrow to select whether or not to report the Broadband Network Failure to the monitoring service. 1 is enabled. This is the default setting. Network failures are reported to monitoring service. Or 0 is disabled. Network failures will not be reported. Tap End. At the Summary of System Configuration screen, verify the settings, then tap Save Changes. Tap Exit to close the System Configuration screen. Note that if the 900 MHz LED illuminates in green, the lower LED, verify that the network cable is not connected to the GoBridge IP communicator. If the cable is disconnected and it is still illuminated in green, use the end of an open paper clip to press and release the recessed reset button. 
The button is located inside the small hole on the port side of the GoBridge IP communicator, directly above the Ethernet port. This restores the factory settings. This table details the LED indicators on the GoBridge IP communicator. When the network LED globe icon is solid green, this indicates the presence of an external network connection. If it is flashing green, the network cable is plugged in and the IP address is actively being assigned. If it is solid red, the network cable is unplugged. When the 900 MHz LED icon labeled 900 MHz is solid green, this indicates that the GoBridge is linked and communicating with the control panel. If it is flashing green, it is linked to the control panel, but communication issues exist. If it is solid red, this indicates that the GoBridge is not linked to the control panel, and it usually turns solid after a device reset. If it is flashing red, it is not linked to the control panel. Thank you for watching the 2 gig GoBridge IP communicator training. If you would like more information, please visit our website. You may now exit the course.